TJ has such a terrible shooter. We gotta find a couple jump shots for the shooter. So, since TJ is a fresh team team winning the team 75 overall, we can head over to the jump shot shooter to get him a nice sweet jump shot. So first we gotta find our little base. We got enough to be on active right now. But you know TJ wants to block him up. Alright, so now we're gonna go check our upper base, or our upper release, sorry. Number one. And of course we want Larry Diggle for that first release. Should we go 50 50 on the first one? Uh, think of a name. I think I'm gonna go with PB. PBY. Uh, PB. That's a really good movie. Now that we've got that out of the way, it's time to test the jump shot. So I'm gonna take five shots at each of the five shooting positions in the regular three point contest. Not really worried about the mid range. So that means we're going to have five shots at each of the corners, five shots on the side three arcs, and then five shots straight down the middle. I'm not going to really worry about the quality of the release, because with 25 total shots, human error is just going to cancel out of it. Out of those 25 shots, with TJ's drippy release, he hits two of five from the north corner. From the left side arch, he hits one of five. From straight on, two of five. From the right side arch, two of five. From the right corner, two of five, for a total of nine of 25 to see TJ finally make it to the tree. So, now that we've concluded this is probably the best release for TJ, it's time to bring it into one of his games. Ah, the Golden State Warriors, a worthy opponent for TJ's newly discovered three-point range. Now, this isn't TJ's first time around the block. He has played in a handful of NBA games, however, this is the first one where he is in the starting lineup. How many bucks could a bucket getter get if a bucket getter could get buckets? Now, as any NBA superstar does, TJ needs to get in a good warm up before the game. That's in. Green light. Money. And at last, the first time the name TJ Kite appears in the starting lineup. Now, we can already tell that the Golden State Warriors are trembling with fear, as only the best defensive minds can stop. The man, TJ Kite. Now we already know that TJ was born to be a baller, but he has to use this opportunity to show that to the rest of the fans. And with a couple highlight plays like that, he'll be well on his way. Early into his first career start, TJ is making quite an impact. However, his teammates don't seem to want to pass him the ball. Until... And it's money! TJ with his first three-pointer of the game. Aside from his ability to go full Drano from the three-point line, TJ is also an incredible slasher that can penetrate to the paint with ease. Unfortunately, right now, without having the badge, free throw ace, TJ isn't able to knock down his free throws as he would like. Clank! But with the badges he does have, and along with a little luck on that shot, DJ is able to put up points after points after points. By the end of the first two quarters, TJ has tallied up 12 points, 1 rebound, and 1 assist. Beautiful. After a piping hot first half, TJ was demoted back to the bench, and as soon as he was put back on the court and taken off the pine, he started to show why he shouldn't have left it. After this particularly disgusting play, TJ found himself a little chilly. 
However, coming back to the second half, he was able to produce a little more. Now in the fourth quarter, the Warriors were really putting the pedal to the metal, and DJ knew it was time for him to step up his game and prove he was a real starter. Green! Although the Warriors were slowly inching their way back into the game, TJ was not finished imposing his will on the enemy squad, and more specifically, Zaza Pachulia. Let us take a moment of silence to remember this poor man's life. Throughout the remainder of the fourth quarter, even TJ himself was unable to handle the Warriors and their three-point abilities. Making many attempts of his own to save the game and bring the Hornets back in, he was unsuccessful, and in the end, the Warriors come away with the victory. Spending the last few minutes on the bench, TJ sees the scoreboard read, 65 to 60 at the end of regulation. I don't know what you guys are looking so sad for. I have to go to Zaza's funeral after this. I'm the only one invited. 